I have never made a project or written a program in C Sharp. Now I've programmed in Unity. I know a little bit about the Unity API, mono behaviors, update loops, fixed update, time dot delta time. I've done that. But I have never actually made a project from nothing in C Sharp. So I've never set up a project from the very beginning. And so I would assume that we need to create a new folder somewhere on our computer and call it Twitchbot in C Sharp or something. Uh, or maybe we make a repository. You guys want to make a repository on GitHub that is public, that everyone can use in the future and also do pull or push requests to if you want for example collector of stuff wanted it to be private uh, on github i've done some c sharp before uh, for work but barely just fix problems uh, c sharp part starting yeah we should start with simple console hello world app c sharp does not need to choose compile target compared to c plus plus my Twitch bot repository. Okay. Yeah, but uh, um, I need to learn first. And so I would like to create a new repository. Uh, hope you don't mind because I don't want to start with like a, a fully fledged application when I need to learn it. That is that would be beside the point. Uh, I will look at your repository for code examples for sure. And we will take a lot from it. Uh, yeah. Just I just assume it's like Java, lol. Morning cakes, how's it going, my brother? My man, Xent or Zent. Are Good morning, brother. How are you doing? Any hype? No, I'm going to. If anything, I'm going to make a uh, C plus plus developer are try C sharp for the first the time bus, video. Or are you gonna start learning C sharp thoroughly? Because the latter takes about ten hours. Uh, no, uh, it will be like first time C sharp. Think C sharp React video? I can't. No, it's a first time uh, video. That's what I think I could do up, uh, out it out of it. Um, but otherwise, I wanna literally. I just wanna to. I want to genuinely learn how to set up a C sharp project and make a bot in it. First of all, download and install the SDK. Okay, let me see here. Uh, first, we need a name for the repository. And I think I would just call it Twitch. Sharp. Twitch Sharp. Sharp bot. Because the bot is sharp, you know. The sharpiest bitch. Twats. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, brother. Let's see. Did I update the title? I hope I did. How about we call it sharp bot? Do I need to add in any git ignores is there a c sharp looks like there's not okay why is it so laggy visual studio so apparently visual studio is a good one as a git ignore okay uh public Description, learning, C-sharp by making a Twitch bot. Add a readme file and there we go. And apparently I cannot spell learning. <laughs> learning C sharp by making a Twitch bot. Thank you very much. Why C sharp? Because we have tried Python, we have tried 
JavaScript. Uh, actually, not much JavaScript, but a little bit. We have tried C++. And now I want to try C Sharp because C Sharp is actually the first thing that uh, Abbeth made in a long time ago that was able to quickly set up uh, set up the event system, the event sub for Twitch, where you can listen to uh, you can listen to subscription events, follow events, rate events, bit events. Basically anything you could do. And if it is as easy as I hope it is, we will be able to create a very powerful bot in a C-sharp program that is also cross-platform that is very easily distributable. And I would like to create a window at some point and then use uh, OpenGL, for example, to do some cool stuff in there. And uh, yeah, I would just want to learn C-sharp as well. And uh, I think it's a good time to try. That's why C-sharp. Okay. C sharp is shaking. Now we get the code, we copy that SSH. And I think we're just going to paste that here. Git clone. Oh yeah. There's a lot of C-sharp jobs too, in game dev too. Yeah, for example, uh, They Are Billions is completely written in C-sharp. I think they're using a framework, but it's still C-sharp. And they are... The performance of They Are Billions when they all come to you in the last wave, right, is terrible. Of course, because there's literally so many zombies. But still, I really like the game. It's one of my favorite games ever. I think I have like... I have over a thousand hours in the game. Okay. So this is it. Have you finally gave up on Splus Bliss? It's okay, Kikaz. Not everyone can be a giga child like No, you that dummy. Oh, we you fucking idiot. You. Oh my god. Uh, I want to learn. A hundred thousand hours. Sharp bot. There we go. At the very bottom. Okay. Uh, I want to program in Visual Studio Code though. So I hope that this is possible. I'm going to open it with code. What do we need in order to begin? <clears throat> Can I just create a C sharp file? SDK first. Okay, so apparently if you want to use C sharp, you need to download an SDK. <clears throat> .NET. Okay, thank you very much. It's downloading on my streaming computer now. So apparently you want to have the .NET Microsoft SDK for Windows. Okay, let's see. Thanks for downloading Windows 64 installer, the .NET SDK. .NET SDK. And so as far as I understand, this is the library that we are downloading now, right? In order for C Sharp to run properly. Is this the C Sharp library? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. Thank you. C Sharp is part of .NET. I think you want the core for cross platform. The CLR is included with the SDK. Maybe if he uses the right emotes, he seems like a cool guy, Reggie. I said three times that he needs the SDK. Common language routine. Should be. Okay, so we have installed it. Uh, we have downloaded it. It's time to install. Uh, net SDK used to build, run, and test net applications. Okay. Install. Interesting. If this is cross platform, does this mean there are more Linux streams to come? Any hype? <laughs> 
at some point I will do Linux audio system, but uh, I need to prepare for that, you know, mentally. And I need to pick a time where I'm relaxed. I slept at least nine hours and I've woken up with the right foot. Uh, I've gotten a kiss for my wife and uh, maybe I ate a pizza before or something sweet so I don't get angry. Yeah. That's when I will try. <laughs> That's when I will try Linux audio. Okay, so we have downloaded and installed a net SDK. I don't know exactly what that does. What does it do? What does this do? Open a CMD and type .net. If it works, there should be something printed. Is this like some sort of compiler? <clears throat> What do we have? We have the runtime, the core runtime, the Windows desktop runtime. Net documentation, SDK documentation, release notes, tutorials. These are resources that didn't get installed. This was, this was installed. All in one package to run and develop .NET apps. Okay, so I would assume that this com includes the compiler as well. Close. Okay, so now we open up a CMD command prompt. And then uh, what should we be able to do? Dot .NET Usage dot .NET options path to application Path to an application dot .dll file to execute Aha uh -huh. Interesting, so if you don't use Visual Studio, Co uh, Visual Studio which I don't Then uh, how do we create a, an application now? You can check what you have installed with .NET Info. Okay, .NET. Apparently, if you do .NET Info, dash dash info, uh, what do we have here? <coughs> this is our version. This is the commit of the version. We are running on Windows. Architecture. And we have the ASP Netcore, we have Netcore and desktop app applications. Okay, we don't have anything else, no environment set uh, variables. And that's it, okay. You don't need Visual Studio to create a project from experience. Yeah, Zendita, we I don't know. Will uh, I will uh, like Abf is going to guide me slower, step by step. You can have multiple SDK versions installed to develop apps to specific net version. Seven is the newest one. It's not backwards compatible. Yeah, uh, but is it upwards compatible? Upwards, yes. Okay, well, I would hope so. Okay, now, how do I open or how do I compile a program now that is a hello world? I think the next task should be how do we create a hello world project where it just prints to the console or something hello world. And I would like to do that in Visual Studio Code in here. I'm pretty sure we need a new folder source. <clears throat> now I'm hoping that this is how it works in C++ too, right? I'm hoping that I could just have one main file, main.sharp or something, and then this file somehow gets compiled or whatever. <laughs> and then I can have a main function in there, right? That's how you do it, right? <laughs> Better ask ChatGPT for faster and complete response. Read, you check what you have installed. .NET new list. .NET new console. <coughs> .NET new. So apparently by doing .NET new, um, we get information. And I, th I think I should make... Let me make that a bit bigger. So you guys can read it better. 
.NET new list. Okay, apparently it is .NET new list. Sorry. List. And uh, how do we make that bigger? I think that's a bit big, isn't it? I think it's a tiny bit big. Guys, if you can't read it very well, tell me, okay? I'm going to use it. Or I'm going to... Use it like that. Okay, so what do we get here? We have Core Empty, Web API, Web App, Angular, React.js. We have, oh, basically, this is the short name. We have Web GRPC, Web API. So basically, this tells us what if I want to use MP3 parsing, for example? What if I want to load in an MP3 file? These are not all of the templates. You can install more. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what I have installed, right? <coughs> ignoring good classic cakes, ignoring good suggestions. Where did the .NET even come from? Let me see, did I At miss the start something? You would use console template. Pretty interesting, yeah. Pretty interesting indeed. Yeah, but how do I make an application now? The simples one. Simples one. Git ignore? Really? So apparently this is all we have installed. I just followed a .NET new list. What is .NET new console? You know. What the status said. .NET new console. What does that mean? Wait. Console app was created successfully. Processing post-creation actions. Restoring. C sharp project file on burnt. And it's still doing that or determining projects to restore. Restored in 64 milliseconds. Dude, that didn't take 64 milliseconds. Okay, bro. That took a couple of seconds. Okay. Interesting. Now you made a console app with a project name console app. I made a console app with a project name console app. Okay. Is that how you do it? Interesting. So basically, if I go on the C now. Wait, guys. We, we have one. You see that? We can't touch C. <laughs> we can't touch C anymore, uh, guys. You didn't reach that again. Now go to project folder and open a SMD there. <clears throat> okay. Give me a second. Just want to see. But you dots. can touch P or even PP. Let me see. It created a users burned C sharp project. What is that? Look, it created a C sharp project file here. And a program CS. It created these, and then I think the git config as well. No. Docsproj is the root of the chash tag app. Wait, so these two files got created. Huh. Sort by date, you doofus, D. <laughs> Every hey. chash tag app must have xproj file. Console right line. Program C sharp. Uh -huh. So apparently this is what happens. Uh, let me delete those two. Uh, 
Looks like the TTS trolls got him so hard, his uh, parents named him Burnt. How's that funny? Okay, let's go to D and then opening up the sharp project. Sharp bot. Okay, CMD. So you're basically saying I should do a CMD. Well, we can do that here too. Now go project folder and User open a CMD. To specify output folder and project name like .NET new Cosnolo project underscore name. Okay, uh, just a question. Why can I not just create a C sharp file here? Why can I not just go here and then create you need a project file too? You can, but you would have to add some of the boilerplate stuff yourself, I think, like the C project file probably. Okay, so in order to make a project, I can't just make a main C sharp file. I also have to create this C sharp project file that basically tells I don't know what entity it tells how to compile the program or run the program. Okay. And so in order to do that, and I should make this a little bit bigger for you guys to see, right? Let me quickly do F1 and then uh, you settings. You just use .NET new commands. <coughs> it's easy. Okay, I mean, yeah. Let me see. C sharp uh, font size. Uh, editor, and then we have the debug console. Terminal. Burned. Sounds like burned. Like what happens when you get told the truth. Okay, guys. Let's see. Make that a bit bigger. Okay, we do dot net. If you want to create project in this folder, you can use an argument to name the project dot net new console and sharp bot. Okay, yeah, I want to call it sharpbot. So apparently I need to do dot .NET, then new console, and then dash minus n sharp bot. Let's see, what does that do? Dot .NET is not recognized. Oh. Console. Case roll. Try again. Dot net. It works. I saw an error. Correctly. I saw an error. Uh, no template subcommand found. Dot net new. Oh, yeah, of okay. course. <laughs> Second. A. Clear. Okay, this time we do it again. .NET new console minus n sharp bot. No, I have a folder inside the folder. We can't do that. It's not... What I want, object files? NuGet, targets? Oops. Just move the files tongue. Okay, apparently this has to be moved. Yeah. Hey, dude. Paste. And then get rid of the sharp bot folder. Just yeah, move it. Okay, so we don't have a source for. Uh, can I not put this in here, or do I have to have this program C sharp file? Folder. Don't bother. Image, it isn't there. Can I delete it? Probably not. Right, it would be slow. Just move it. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good job, guys. We have a program file. How do we start it now? Yes, it would be generated on build. Okay. Um, 
I want to move this in here. You build a project with a command.net build. So, uh, apparently this command creates a pro uh, program CS. I would like it to be here. I would like it to be in source. And then I want this. This doesn't even... This doesn't even do anything. Do I have to move it in here too? Wait, that sucks. Good job, Kikaz. After 20 minutes of... Struggle? <laughs> you finally typed the three words command. <laughs> All of this... For what now, don't move to? the files. <sighs> what are we listening to here? For now, don't move the files. You can move them afterwards. Okay, fine. So, my... Okay. My inner C++ dude wants to move this into... S you guys want me to remove TTS? .NET build, let's try to build the app. For now, we are using only SMT. Okay, so apparently now you have to do .NET build. My inner C++ dude wants to move this program C Sharp into source. It's triggering me that it's outside. But apparently, first we have to check it. So let's see, .NET build. You can move it, it doesn't matter. Wait, I can move it now? Can I move it now? Okay, warnings and errors. And it built in two seconds? Wait. Why did it... And now we have binaries. We have an executable. Oh no. What is this? X64 debug net 7. Two seconds for a one-line file, yeah. What? What is that DLL for? I don't know, it's loading all the libraries, brother. So we can use the console. <laughs> That's because you can build for different platforms. Yeah, but what if I do this? Can I do this? Like, if I move this out now, what happens? C-sharp gang. X32, release, etc. Remove TTS, I dare you. You need the DLL. Uh, okay, it's trying to load in the Sharpbot, Sharpbot DLL. So I need the DLL too. And if I, I'm pretty sure if I want to have debug symbols as well, I need that as well, right? So if I want to start the executor. <sighs> now you realize that C++ is better. This is the point where I say that Listen the setup of this... It's hard to explain with you. Okay, guys. Uh, I'll turn off TTS for a while then. Because I literally cannot concentrate as well. So, this is the point where I realize that... Huh? C++ is actually better to set up if you know what you're doing. But I'm inexperienced, so... Sharp bot DLL. No, wait, no, no. It's trying to find the host policy DLL. It is required to execute the application, but it was not found in the programfiles.net. Host policy. Huh. What? You're just using commands? Everything was set up for you? You haven't read a single doc for setup? I have not, no. The application was run as a self contained app because the JSON was not found. Aha! So I need all of these files. This time. And this time, this one. I'm going to move those back. I just want to see what happens when I start the application. 
Hello world. Okay, it works. Okay, cool. Um, let's get the turn. The, uh, put these back. I don't really like that I have these in here. I would like it to have the executable outside, and then the executable references these ones here. But okay, fine. We move it back. Because you know what I don't like about this setup. I like my program knowing what is relative to the executable. So for example, where the executable is, is where I know my paths from. If I have an assets, assets folder, I know that if the executable is here at the top level, then the assets folder is right next to it. Now, these are debug files. If you publish, you specify where to put the executable. Okay, so how do we make a program now? Why do I have everything in Sharpbot again? What the fuck, man? No. What? Move that out. And then delete Sharpbot. What is the size of the executable? I don't know. Binary debug.net. It's 151 kilobytes. Doesn't sound too big to me. Should be fine. It sounds good, yeah. It uses built an SDK to one uh, to run. You can add the SDK to the executable and it would be a few megabytes. You can build it as a self-contained executable, then the size will be larger, but does not rely on the pre-installed on pre-installed.net libraries. Now fix the paths on this C sharp project file. There are no paths in there, brother. Look. Vincent, there's nothing. Output type executable, there's no paths in here. Okay, so we have this project file that basically says that we are using the .NET SDK. I think that we output an executable and implicit usings are enabled and nullable is enabled too. Okay. Next step programming is install a C sharp extension. Well, I would like to, I would like to set up my project first because I don't like this at all. The executable, like for example, if I run this executable from inside Visual Studio Code, now I have an asset folder, like uh, this is, I want to do this. I want to, the C-sharp uses a workspace. I want this. to be here I don't like having to go into one two three folders you can't move it yeah I, I know I know that I can't move it it has to be that way symlink like you said it's your debug build for debug files Okay, so since this is a debug build, we have to do it like this. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. <clears throat> Did we run the Hello World yet? People are happy? Uh, yes, we ran it one time. Can't you copy the asset folder on each build? Nice. Yeah, I know. And now it takes time. I'm just trying to understand <laughs> what that is. Yeah, and it took two seconds to build. Yeah, the two second build time was like, huh. That took a while. <clears throat> okay. Next. You can run the app with .NET run command. Uh, 
Hello world. Oh, cool. Interesting. I don't know how that works because I literally have no link in here that tells me where the file is. Interesting. So it created this console right line, but there is no link that this one looks into this folder. <clears throat> the project file is like magic. Yeah, but okay, fine. But how do I know? Uh, that's so weird. How does this file know that we have a bin 64 debug net folder? It's default cake. Cakes discovers a build system day one. Okay, bro. Like how? There's literally no information that it looks into the bin x64 debug and net folder. Okay. Predictable. Looks like HTML. This is um, XML. Okay, how do we make the game now, guys? <laughs> Where's the main function? If you were to run it on Linux, it would be x64 link instead of x64, if I remember correctly. Rest of the old, yeah. Where's the rest of the old? The game, yeah. No main function. Please install a C-sharp extension. Okay, why do we are installing a library already? What do we install? Can't we just make a main function first with an update loop before we do that? VS Code extension? Ah, the Visual Studio Code. Oh yeah, of course. I totally forgot about that. We need an extension. C sharp? Oh no. By Microsoft. And it has three stars. Listen, listen. Why are all of these extensions by Microsoft so dog shit? Can someone explain that to me? You don't have a choice? It's not that bad? Then why is it three stars? <laughs> three stars. Okay. Installing. Please don't lag my computer. Please don't add a, like a language server that takes 10 days to filter out a variable. You're forced. Don't rely on star ratings. Works pretty well on Amazon for me. Wow, it's still installing. Wow. Probably 60% of people installing this extension are beginners. Okay. <clears throat> Multi gigabytes LSP. I dislike Microsoft, but yeah, the star ratings are you here are useless. Are you sure about that? Okay, we have it. C sharp is installed. Cool. Now go back. Program C sharp. Wouldn't it be better if I make. Let's see. I want to test out for myself. Class. Main. Int main. Return 1. Or 0. He said stop. I just want to test, guys. Um, <clears throat> while running. Update. Private. Oh, that's not how it works. Private bool running. Is false. Uh, uh, tr true. True. You think this is cakes right now? Hey, I'm trying, okay? System compiler services? I don't think that's what I'm using. Okay, we don't need that console right line. Actually, we do need that console right line. 
And then we put the console right line in the update loop and we win, right? This is what you do. Console right line. And then, of course, you do run. No, dot net build. Oops. Dot net. <laughs> Ah, we have an error. Main method suitable for an entry point. Program does not contain a static main method. Aha. Okay, so static int main. Dot net. Oops. Dot net. Build. Two errors. Uh, an object reference is required to for the non-static field method what's next Rust also run also builds cakes rage incoming no I'm just trying out wait does it have to be static as well static can I do private static guys is it private static or static private What do you expect, Cakes? Um, I just want to test a bit. We have one error. Main method is not suitable for entry point. Program does not contain a static main method. Okay, so we need to have a capital main method. Right? Try to make it public. Uh, main member names cannot be the same as they're enclosed by okay then we call it sh oops what did I delete here sharp bot sharp bot and then turn that into a capital M and this at this point I really want to have a build script main member names cannot be the same as their enclosing type That was the same I got before. <gasps> Build succeeded! Wait. Wait. Dot net run. <gasps> How do I quit? Oh, control C. Look at this! We have an application, we have a game, guys. This is a game. Now draw the rest of the owl. Yeah. Rest of the owl. Owl. Do fizz buzz. Bot or game. Yeah, this is supposed to be a C++ Twitch bot, but we are going to need a while loop like this. We're going to have a, f a function, main function like that. This is basically our entry point. And uh, we need to run the bot at some point as well. <clears throat> cool. This is why I didn't want to do a two hour following Hello, uh, for Hello World. Listen, listen. For an hour. Pace bin, this is proper main in C sharp style. So apparently, my main function is not the proper C sharp style. And. Uh, Apparently, this is how it looks. Apparently, you have a internal class program. Internal. With a static bool running. And a private static void main with string arguments. And then while you're... Ooh... No curly braces while loop? Please. <clears throat> Why are you doing that? Why? Yikes. So compared to what, what do we have here? Static bull running. Private static bull. Hmm. Isn't this better to be private? Ah, 
I would agree with the string arcs array. Or is it string uh, array arcs? Uh -huh. We're just not using them right now. And then apparently it's a void function. Huh. I would like it to be int. Is it a problem if it's int? Why would it be void instead of int? You can pass arguments to the executor and then uh, and get them in arguments. Uh, yeah, faster to type. One liner. Mm -hmm -hmm. How do I see Lyle app return? Uh, guys, I need to go to the bathroom real quick, okay? When I come back, we're going to actually uh, install our first library, okay? And then we start with connecting to Twitch. Okay, be right back real quick. Thank you very much. Gotta run. Later, boys. See you later, Verit. Could not handle the criticism. Edit the emote. Let's fucking piss. <laughs> Cakes, this is important for you to know that this is going uh, for you to know what is going on. Delete implicit usings in line uh, siege project file. Delete bin and the objects folders and compile again. You wanna see? You would see a few errors. Try to resolve them. So okay, I will do that. Why is that though? Implicit usings I can understand, right? .NET build. Uh, console does not exist in the current context. Okay, so that that means we have to. Oops, no, no. We have to include that. So using console system dot console system dot light bulb the light bulb helps you remove unnecessary reusings reusings <laughs> but I need it quick fix Using system.console. <clears throat> what are you doing? <laughs> Makes sense to me, yeah. <laughs> system.console. Hey? Okay, apparently I have to do using system. No, actually makes sense to me. Just system. Console is inside system. Okay. Cakes. I don't need an entire class around... You don't need an entire class around your main. You can just put it in the top level of your program C Sharp. Uh, I can't send you a code snippet if you want. I can send you. Uh, price of devils. Yeah, thank you, man. Sure. Uh, you mean I could just do this? Wait, is that possible? Can we have like a static bull running? We don't have a class here? Wait, is this actual C code? No classes? Prince, no thanks. Just GitHub? It's learning? Va. Wait. This looks like JavaScript to me now. What is this? No main arcs, C sharp. What is this, guys? We are using, wait, we are using system? And we have a var. And then we have a while. I don't think that is very good. Because we don't want that. But that's interesting. What is var though? JavaScript? Yeah, that looks like JavaScript. <laughs> var is like an auto in C++. 
Oh, so I hate war. Okay, so I hate auto in C++ and I hate war. Okay. I see. Dank wave. Christ, gotta go, Cakes. Talk to you later. Talk to you later, Christ. My man, thank you very much for being here. Brother, good morning. My man, Pikachu. Hello there, bro. You hate auto, huh? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, because you can't defer the type. Anyways, uh, okay, we don't do that. We don't. We had a very perfectly running uh, thing that is now able to build, right? Okay, build succeeded. And then you wanted me to remove... What else? <clears throat> Binary and the object folders. Okay, we delete the binary folder. Yes. Executable. And we remove the object folder. Continue. What happens if we remove those folders? Uh, can you please just delete the object folder, man? Is it that difficult to de... Why do I need... L huh? I'm pretty sure this was just because of Visual Studio Co Code. Built. Okay, it's built in 98, I think, milliseconds. Looks good to me. Cool. I still don't like the .NET 7 and then it's all in here, but okay. Looks good, yeah. Okay, this looks good. Next step. Okay, now we actually want to work and make a Twitch bot. Yeah, would be cool. To learn about using, so let's try to calculate the sine of two. Uh, I, I can do that. Okay, okay. Uh, using, okay. Using math. Using system.math. Using math. Okay, apparently you don't do that, but sign F sinus anus system dot sign F sign sinus. Sign, sign, single. Int x float x is sign of. I can't do it. It doesn't let me type sign. It always puts in a. I'm not single! After sign, listen, listen, this sucks. Using math, <laughs> this fucking sucks. I hate it. Double. .NET build works. Wow, my God! Why? So basically, we have math in system. You always have to do math sign. Now delete math and add the unit ne needed using. Listen, why does math not exist as a thing? Generate method. Uh, fixed typo. 
This sucks. Quick fix. Why does math not exist? Hmm? What do you want? What the actual fuck do you want? Dot math. Huh? How? Math is inside system. Listen. <laughs> really? No, it's not. Collections. System dot collections dot math. No. System dot. I can find it. Diagnostics dot math. No. Dot. IO link net numer numerics. It's gotta be numerics. 100%. 100% numerics. Dot math. Fuck! Why? Where's math? System collections, math functions, math. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, first things first, you need to learn proper uh, C-sharp naming and coding conventions. No. 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 You need to type math.sin using static system.math system.ds <laughs> Why is he sharp? I ask myself the same question already. Why is he sharp? Uh, using static? System.math Hey! What? <laughs> what the fuck is that? What do you mean, static? Huh? What? Because math sign is a static function, I assume. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cakes. C sharp by default uses doubles. If you want to use floats, there are math functions for it. Math F. <laughs> Do I need? He stopped reading what I'm typing. No, no, I didn't. I didn't. Eh? Wait. Using static system dot math F. Float. X is sign F two point oh F float Y see <laughs> sharp what? Hey dude Listen, a C++ was too difficult, okay, bro? I tried using a library yesterday and didn't even fucking connect to Twitch using a socket. Forget about using static, it was my mistake. You mean the static int main? When rewrite in Rust? No, 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 no. Just use math sign and math f sign. 
this is so bad okay i mean i'm pretty sure there's like some c-sharp nerd right there and I'm, he's seeing me like this is so bad it's like actually cakes you're such a fucking asshole you're such a dummy okay you need to use static when you're using the fucking library because the library is a static class okay bro and if you're including a static class then you need to use a static keyboard okay bro please so it's something a fucking idiot and saying that it's bad okay and confusing for beginners it's not okay because it's actually accurate on what you need to do okay you idiot fucking stupid idiot let me download a fail fuck you <sighs> sorry okay anyways so math and math f hmm <laughs> <laughs> you suck at C-sharp cakes. Fuck you. Cakes say wrong things all the time. Most of the time, actually, you're good. Sorry about that. <laughs> actually. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, math F. Cool. Um, now that we are able to use math functions, we have everything we need to make a Twitch bot. We need to connect to Twitch. Abeth, let's create a new class. Why do we need to create a new class? No! Can't we just like do... Look, can we do this? Connect... To... No, no not in the while loop. Here. Connect to Twitch. Why would we need a new class? You want everything in one file? First, I want to do it sequentially. C sharp Unity. <laughs> Listen, the least amount of units, uh, compil compilation units, the better. Okay. So, first, I would like to know what it means to use or install a. Hopefully, there's like this Twitch API thing that lets me connect and then we are go golden. Try doing zero classes? No. You don't need any libraries? Expecting streamer to use more than one file. <laughs> In true C-sharp fashion, you have to create a new file for every class. So, uh, so that your beautiful code base is, is split up across hundreds of files, all containing five lines of code. Dies of cringe. Yeah, we're going to put it all into this one because I love C++ and I write 20,000 lines of code files. And so we're going to do it here too. How do I connect it to which? I have everything I need. Wait. Really? System dot sockets. Twitch, using Twitch connect. This guy is trolling me, right? Using Twitch. Okay, you, you, you're trolling me. Okay, okay bro. You, you're trolling me. Okay. Using system Twitch. Uh, you guys are trolling me. System.twitch. <laughs> you fucking assholes. Okay, that's not Twitch. Stop lying. <laughs> Try to write socket socket equals new socket. I use light bulb and use the light bulb. Okay. Socket. Okay, socket equals new socket. So basically what we are doing here right now, save socket handle. Uh, excuse me. What we're doing right here is we are allocating heap memory, right? New expression can be simplified. Socket does not contain a con constructor that takes zero arguments. We need an address family, a socket type, and a protocol type. And we have three overloads. Quick fix. Use new. <laughs> no! That's terrible! What do you mean? Convert to a top-level statement. The light bulb is not helping, Abeth. The light bulb is not making it better, you know? Do you want to do it without a library? Otherwise, just use the GitHub Twitch lib. 
Um, I would like to first like see what options I have. But thank you, Free Space. I'm going to open that link and uh, we're going to look at it later if we really need it. Thank you, bro. Uh, for now, I just want to see what is possible. And I don't even know how to fucking open a socket. And this thing this doesn't help me. We need something in our constructor. What does the bot do? The bot will listen to events. Redemptions. Um, subscriptions. Donations. Bit donations. Rates. Everything. That's what the bot will do. And it will fire videos and TTS. That's what I want to do. And I want to do that because I want to use the special TTS. The TTS that we have been building up in our Twitch bot, uh, the Python Twitch bot, that I disabled right now because otherwise it would be too much spam. Uh, socket is the socket type stream and the protocol is TCP. Okay, so it is socket stream. Okay, supports a reliable two-way connection based byte streams without the duplication of data. Mm -hmm. And then we have the protocol type, which is TCP. Transmission control protocol. Okay, cool. I don't need to include anything. Socket dot. Begin connect. Is that what we want? Bro, C sharp, you can go. You go to the dark side. Uh, no. What we're trying out something. We need a... Uh, System.net endpoint, remote endpoint, callback. Uh, this looks so bad. <laughs> a connection should just return me a value! Sorry. Oh, it does give me a result. Okay. I think you have a small typo in your stream title. It should be Twitch chat making a Twitch bot. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, chat's helping me, okay? But uh, once we get to the point where I can open up sockets, then uh, it's all about making the actual bot. Okay, brother? You won't use them for too long. Read. Uh, socket. This socket uh, is for TCP communication. Let's you For now, it lets you connect to chat. It's easier. Methods to begin are asynchronic, not blocking. Uh, you won't use them too soon. Read. First off. This is a serious project. Don't type everything in the main function. First of all, when you're programming anything, you are making it work. And once it works, then you're making it correct. Okay, mister? We are making it work right now, Max Funky. Match. It has been four hours since you started making the bot. No, mister. I'll have you know. Okay that I added in coins today. Okay, bro? I added in coins that are not coins, but tangerines. Okay? It will block until it's connected or timeout. We will need to block socket connect. So you need to use socket connect. Okay. We're going to do that. I just want to show Kofilava the, the coin. Look. See that? Fuck! It's... My fucking face is in the way. Wait. You see that? Now watch what happens when it gets close to the end. Wait. Brown, orange. You see how it's blinking? You see how it's going out of... <gasps> oh, it's gone. No, I didn't click on it. Bloop. 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 Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we did today, bro. Boom, boom. Money! This is the money. This is actually the money. And we have brown, silver, and golden oranges. Why are you picking up turds? Uh, this money. This money uh, for my game. And the money will be used in town later on for meta progression and gear upgrades. Which I don't have currently. Or buying gear. Anyways, quick detour here. We're back at the c -sharp bot. I tried to yoink the code from my bot. See, uh, chat CS file, line 300. 
me try connect first so connect here right dot connect I want to connect to a an endpoint, uh, system.net endpoint. The system endpoint represents the remote device. Establish a connection. Um, can't I just put in a string here? Oh, I can. Oh, so that is Twitch. Wait, HTTPS colon slash slash Twitch dot uh, ID. No, wait, IRC dot twitch dot something. Let's see if I can do it without looking. Look at the arrows near to four different constructors. Uh, twitch API connect to to chat. Type in your API key. Chatbots. Uh, there we go. SSL, non SSL. Um, WebSocket clients, IRC clients. I think we want IRC. Wait. Give me a second. Fuck. Where's main C++? What are we connecting to here? There's too many links. I used port 6667. What are we using here? This is a C++ bot, by the way. Yeah, that's the C++ bot that we have written. And it works great, but the problem is... My god, handle redemptions. Wow, we have too many lines of code here. A handle Twitch chat, there we go. It uses the port 6667 and it connects to irc chat.twitch.tv. Okay, so we are connecting to that. And I don't know if we need this irc colon slash slash. Not sure. Oh, wait, well, the port is... Okay, 6667. And I guess the, the port is no longer here then. Then we connect it like this. I think we need to do a, that. That's why I split the code into files. Huh? No, you don't. Okay, wow, how do we know if it connected? Does it return anything? Void. Really? Exceptions? Now, it would connect. You can debug. Can I not, like, get a message? Socket.receive or something? And it takes in a buffer, okay. Let's make a buffer. No, actually I want to put this here. On the stack. Probably it's not the stack. Static. Char. Is that how it works? Buffer? Uh, 8192. Does that work? No? Oh, you put it here. 8192. Why did they change the order of this? Static doesn't work either. Huh. Weird. Or do you have to do like this? Equals new char. Eight, uh, wait, 8192. Static char. Buffer? No. You can't define static variables inside methods. Okay. That sucks. Aha. Okay. Byte. Oh, it's byte. 
What is the difference between bite and char? Isn't it the same? Oh. Read only struct bite. Maximum value. Oh, this is an unsigned char. Char is for single characters, bite is for numbers. Okay, cool. Um, okay, we're receiving on the buffer and can I print out the buffer? Is there a way to print out? Console. Console.write line. Uh, byte is a smaller numeric data type, I think. Mm -hmm. It would print a system byte, but error is not a string to print. But can I use like a sprint f function or something? And print that, you can do string.join. We communicate directly with bits and bytes now. Five at. I don't even have control over what goes on the heap and the stack. I just noticed. This is on the heap, right? And this is on the heap. I can't even make a stack allocated socket. Why? Because I have to do new socket. And I have to do a new byte. The buffer is on the stack? Really? Objects go to heap. Call them in Discord. Maybe you should give uh, TeamViewer access uh, to ABF and let him code uh, so at least it goes faster. Listen, I know I'm not very fast, okay? I don't have a mic. All, all is heap in C sharp and Java. Yeah, right? It's time to tell Cakes about unsafe contacts. Let's ruin him. Fuck off. Look up. Sprint F. Uh, Sprint F takes an output buffer, a format string, and any number of arguments. How do I print? Never give TeamViewer access. You want to get hacked or something? You won't receive anything. Case could we slow down? You won't receive anything. Uh, don't we get when we connect to Twitch chat and join the channel? Socket dot. Wait. Console right line, string join buffer. This is blocking, right? Uh, socket into a receive buffer. This is void. For each byte, result plus equals to string times two. Can I debug immediately? I can't even run. Uh, is this... Can we... Connect is blocking, no. Why can we? Yeah, well, uh, because you are not listening. Can, can't we just uh, start the .vs code files now? I said slow down. Okay, Cakes, you need to place. Listen, match. You need to place new by stack alloc to make it on the stack. You need to replace new by stack alloc to make it on the stack. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Hit F5 and wait, don't choose anything. Okay. <clears throat> Cakes, if you type unsafe, you can use C pointers. Really? <coughs> First option. Okay, we select the debugger, the net5 and net core. Plus. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay, launch and task. 
Wow, task. It builds the workspace folder C sharp. C sharp project file of the sharp bot. Mm -hmm. And it. Holy shit, how much is that? Then we have a publish one. Oh, these are the same, but publish. And then generate full paths true. And then we have a watch one. Mm -hmm. At a breakpoint, I need a five. Don't bother about it for now. I'm just, just exploring. Just exploring. I don't see how it... Compiles, but okay. Workspace folder.net debug. Mm -hmm. C sharp program. Wait, it's launching the DLL? Huh. Very interesting. And the working directory. So, workspace folder. Hmm. Okay, F5. Wait. F5. Wow. It's fucking slow, but wow. F10. It's blocking. <laughs> God damn it. We're almost pogging. I was almost pog champ. F10, F10, F10. Look. Oh no, it threw an ex exception. What do you mean? Not supported exception. What do you mean? System.net socket exception. That's good. Th really? Exceptions cakes, not good. Wait, that's good. Connected through. Are you sure about that? Yeah, oh. Disable exceptions, can't fragment. Delete the file to get rid of the extension uh, exception. Socket dot. <laughs> Try to send something before receiving. Yeah, we can send the uh, the following. Wait. Uh, we can do this. Um. Join. Oh, we are off token. Channel data. The nick. I don't think I want to set the or off token. Pass nick and channel. Yeah. Socket. Dot send. Uh, nick. That would be cake seven. Can I choose any nick name for the bot? Let's type some random or off. Would we we would we would receive an error. Cakes bot. Name him Nick. Name is Max Funk. Okay, fine. Max Funky. There you go. And once some socket flags. No socket flags, I guess. Hmm. Look at what is being sent. It needs a byte array. Listen. Listen. Why is that so complicated? Send string. Just convert the string to a byte array. U8 pointer. Uh, 
Simple, right? That's how you cast stuff. Wait, it wants an array. Of course. How could I be so foolish, right? An array pointer. Isn't that right, boys? I know it. That's what it needs. That would be C's, C's GigaChat way of doing it, yeah. Socket sent, encoding UTF-8, get bytes. Yikes. Okay. So apparently, encoding dot UTF-8. Well, I love this because get bytes. So that's basically what you have to do. And then you put in a string. So basically this... I have a question. Why is there no send function that takes in a string? Or is there? There's no send UTF-8. There is, but not for sockets. Okay. Okay, we sent and then we, uh, we, and we need to send the nick and we need to join a target channel. So we also need to send the join function with number or hashtag I think cakes 77 and then we want to receive warning okay it builds quite fast I have to say I'm I'm very impressed I'm st I'm impressed with the build times Hopefully it stays. Circle flags, none is default. Yeah, but I can't go without the flags, I think. Or? Can you go without flags? Oh, you can now that I have the correct... Now that I have it correctly. Okay, thank you, man. All right, let's see here. Uh, it takes so long to start. Holy shit. Okay, we have sent two things. Uh, it's not receiving. It's not receiving. How do I, like, hmm. So basically I uh, receive here after joining and usually I get something bad. Not enough, you didn't specify a channel. I did. Join. Oh wow, it returned probably nothing. Yeah, great. It builds so slow, it builds so fast, it <laughs> Pretty sure that protocol requires new lines. So the server didn't send anything. Pass. Um. Yep, also pass in r backslash r backslash n. Okay, well, the backslash r backslash n, that's correct. And then we need to also, uh, I guess, send in the or off pass. But I think you don't need that. It would say that uh, add random password. It would say that a password doesn't match. Okay. Oh, um, wait. This is C++ code. <sighs> I hate Vim. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Backslash. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Cakes, if you forgot your real or off code, I still have it and can send it on Discord. <laughs> oh wait really it types in a bunch of no okay quick be right back wow yeah okay i'm back add six lines you connected to twitch chat and in six lines you connected to twitch chat you now have uh, to encode back 
Uh, encoding you to f8 gate string buffer. Okay, so no join. Encoding. Uh, utf8 dot get string from the buffer <clears throat> okay let's see i'm starting to feel like i'm writing c++ code with libraries at this point you know this is basically a bunch of libraries that i'm using in c++ almost <clears throat> Login authentication fail. Oh, really, really? You're writing the line with a bunch of question marks. You're not, not terminating the string. Uh, literally, the buffer has a bunch of zeros in there. Uh, are you not able to determine that zero is nothing? A question mark? It's like, it's like passive aggressively telling me that what the fuck do you want from me? Huh, bitch? It's, it's like doing the huh thing. Yeah, goodness. I don't like this logging function, guys. I don't like it at all. What the fuck? What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I received returned how many bytes it received. You could pass more arguments to get string. Try to do that. Now, why is right line not by default ignoring the null terminator? Why is it not doing that? Why is it turning this into a bunch of question marks? Make a macro for right line and then and socket send. Macro. It doesn't do anything more than you tell what tell you what you tell to do. Okay, okay, fine, fine. Int bytes received is right. Is that bytes? Yeah, bytes received, and then get string. In int index. Oh, really? Int index. Do we have like a better one? Bytes received. Hopefully, a bytes count. There we go. Wow, this feels like a well-written library. No, I'm kidding. We have an error. Do we? Cannot convert from byte to byte pointer. Index is where to say I know, but I don't want to specify that. I don't want to do that. Doesn't matter whether I use this or the other one. Complains about that. Do I really have to convert this now? Yeah, I know this would work, but it's it will complain here too. This will complain too. Fuck off. Okay, fine. <clears throat> Connect, please. Login authentication failed. Cool. So in one, two, three, four, five, six. In six lines of code, we connected to Twitch chat. And now instead of connecting to Twitch chat, I want to connect to the events up. To which events? Special events. <laughs> no! Not this! Twitch event sub. WebSocket. There we go. We want this. And to connect to it, we need to use WSS, the event sub. And so we need to specify this here instead of IRC chat
Now bait someone to sub just to test this. <laughs> oh, guys. Oh, I, I need someone to sub. Unfortunately, this one didn't work. Hey, <laughs> someone able to sub, please. Just need to test this once. I promise. <laughs> okay, we're connecting to this. What is the port? Does it matter? <clears throat> web sockets? Yeah, we are using web sockets now. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, is it TCP or a different one? Let's try to connect like this. If it crashes, another sub, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm currently in the middle of downloading a newer version of Mac OS 10 on a virtual machine. The thing a man does when he gets bored are beyond mortal comprehension. Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, we are connecting to Twitch chat that works as Max Funky. Or oh, actually, we don't have the authentication, but we are trying to. Uh, connect. Oh, goodness. No such host is known. Unhang unhandled exception type. Address family. Okay. Maybe the socket type is wrong. Instead of stream, it is a. Um. I don't know. Stream. Events are web sockets. It's a web socket. Mostly stream. You can't connect to web sockets with that class Omega LOL. Look at this guy. <laughs> you can't connect to that class. You can't connect to that with that class of Megalol. <laughs> look at this guy. But I'm writing T sharp code. Hey, look at me. I know so much more than this guy. Ho 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 ho. What an idiot. Fuck you. WSS sockets, C sharp. Implement secure web socket. Writing a web socket server. Can't with class. I can't. Omega lol. Web sockets are based on TCP. Oh my god, you are so clueless. Three hours yesterday, still didn't get the difference between a TCP and a web socket. Now it blames it on first time in C sharp. Listen, you guys explained it terribly, okay? I still don't understand what a web socket and a difference difference is between a web socket and a TCP socket, okay? You said it's a different protocol. Okay, fine. But you didn't say what exactly is the difference, okay? You should create a Twitch chat GPT. A uh, bot. Your fault, Bizot. Yeah, actually, explain it terribly. Yeah. WebSocket server. Flag. No. I would like to ask if you know how to implement a WebSocket with .NET. <clears throat> TCP is a protocol. WebSockets are sent, sent HTTP hypertext through them. <laughs> Gargle with TCP? No. It's your fault, chat. Yeah. Cakes, my bot is not using that WebSocket. You don't want to go my route? Um, No, because... I would have to use ngrock and there's a way to set up a web socket right and so i just need to connect to that web socket which makes it a little bit easier i just don't know how to set up a 
WSS WebSocket in C Sharp. I wanna try it at least. Okay, if it doesn't work, then we go your route. What's the error, little bro? Well, um, it doesn't find the host. No host, no such host is known. <clears throat> Listen, I have never done this before. I don't fucking know. Oh, certificate. Uh-oh. -uh. Because the host can have WS in the name. Slash. Did you miss the WSS slash slash before that? No. Because the host can't have the slash in the name. Well, we could try without the slash. True. Maybe we're just doing this. True. Don't think so, though. Is this Witcher music? Yes. Oh, it's timing out now. It's trying to connect, but it's timing out. And the WSS uh, colon slash slash Poselski is from... It's basically the type of connection. And so you don't put that there. You just put in this name. Events up wss.twitch.tv Yeah, so it looks like this doesn't exist in C Sharp. AKA we need to use a library For that. Read that noob. .net fundamentals web sockets. Hmm. Ouch. It exists, I'm 99% sure. Quakes, you're not the only one. I don't know any of that shit either. Yeah. Uh web socket support and net. Socket IO, you have been there already. Socket IO? A difference in HTTP slash one and HTTP two web sockets. You're a new well, yeah, but this is WS, not oh I I see so. <clears throat> uh, I should probably do the WSS in front, huh? Uh, an extended socket exception. Yeah, I took a lot of time. Maybe we do WSS. Colon slash slash. Try that. Would be weird, but you never know. Var socket is new client. You're no longer using socket class. Instead, client web web socket. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Just wanna test real quick. Uh, exception socket. No such host is known. Mm, I think this was correct. Because it can find the host. WS at the end. Slash WS. Okay. Cakes, what's the difference between socket and a web socket? It uses HTTP on one and uh, TCP on the other one. Different protocol, bro. You even type out protocol? Huh? Are you dumb? Uh, no host is known. I don't think that's it. Socket ain't a protocol. No, um, what I mean by protocol is how you exchange data, not the socket. Mister. Okay, we have a client WebSocket now, and what does it need? Wow, this is so easy. Nothing? Look guys, we now have a client WebSocket, and how do we connect? Socket dot connect async. Oh, really? Uri? 
already is nuts event sub dot wss dot twitch dot tv anything else cancellation token oh why not <coughs> It's easy when using libs, but I see that Kleinsocker is mostly async. It's going to get hard for you. Hmm. It's fine, I guess. Async await. Yeah, we can sleep or wait. Don't forget the await. Uh, okay, vendor Kelta, what does it mean? Where do I put the await? Uh, behind it, like dot await. Huh? Are you dumb? Wait, async? Don't wait at the end. New cancellation token, new URI. I think I hate C++. Uh, I hate C sharp now. New cancellation token. System threading to cancellation token. Wow. Dot wait. Damn. You have networking, you don't have C-sharp. Await at the start would require the method to be async. Hate. Solver boss. Await at the start. It's okay. That's okay now, really? Why do I... Okay, whatever. Why C-sharp, dude? Listen. Abbeth made a very good bot and he actually put in a lot of time and I want to try it out Lady Eli Okay, I think we can make a good bot in C Sharp if we can't then it is how it is okay try Rust listen I can try these nuts okay on your face bitch I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! Good one. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Red Rocket. My oh, man. Unlock TTS now. Cakes is smart enough to know that Rust sucks. I've not heard many good things about Rust. So, yeah. Why don't you use ChatGPT for programming questions? Lazy. And chat helps a lot, so I just hope that chat has the answer for me. Which oftentimes you do. It's a team effort, guys. I ask the question and you give me the code. <laughs> Isn't that great? <laughs> Cakes, GitHub, Twitch Lib. What if chat just copy paste from ChatGPT? That yeah, for example. Listen, Coffee Lava. If you know a good C single header library uh, that doesn't require CMake. Uh, that can use web sockets. Tell me, because I tried one yesterday and it f it sucked. It didn't work. And it didn't have support for the double S. It only supported one S. You sucked all the water, dude. I'm fucking thirsty as hell, man. When you're talking, listen. The past week. I have not uttered a single word unless I got asked a question. Okay. I would literally just sit there and not talk. 
I was so happy that we had other people with us on the vacation. They would be talking and talking. I would be sitting there for hours. Not saying anything. And they would keep asking me, are you okay? Is everything fine? Are you angry? Are you happy? Are you sad? And I'm like, it's all good. It's fine. I'm good. I would literally not talk at all. Use this. WebSocket HPP Blobmaster Twitch bot. Uh, Mr. Noob. WebSocket HPP. Who is Mr. Noob? Is that you? <clears throat> you have a WebSocket and see. I'll, I'll look at that. I'll look at that later. But we are we are here now. Uh, thank you, Coffee Lover. Thank you very much. Maybe uh, yeah, we can check that out. But I want to try this out here. Give it a real chance. If you want to hear me talking, just watch my streams when we get back home. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man. What, you don't like CMake and pack config and no package manager? No, I hate that. I fucking hate that shit. I hate CMake. Sorry. How do we receive now? Ah. Uh, excuse me. <gasps> no. <gasps> Receive async. Uh, it needs an array segment buffer of type byte. And then a, I guess, a new cancellation token. Using system threading, I guess, yeah. Oh. I have that. That's why I guess it's not that bright green. It's dark green, huh? Um, but this one's complaining. It is complaining because... Uh, implicit cannot implicitly convert type void to int. Uh, buffer cakes paste bin works white people po white poggies sorting said it, uh, it well about rust what did he say fuck I closed the website accidentally I clicked on X clicked on X fucking clicked on X Thing that uses Rust, how is thing that uses Rust still maintain like manages to be simple, right? You you add Rust and Rust actually kind of like forces you to pile abstractions on top of abstractions on top of abstractions on top of abstractions. The, the language itself, the semantics of the language, kind of kind of forces you to add more and more and more and more things like you you feel like a junkie you, you like you, oh my god oh yeah, i can see i can see i can feed that type into that interface it also fits into that interface i must implement all the possible interfaces for my type like more interfaces more interfaces more interfaces and you, you can't stop the language just forces you yeah more interfaces implement more traits more traits more traits you, you can't stop blabbering you have a huge library that does nothing just, but just implements traits so <laughs> that's Rust basically. Uh, so, and as soon as you just like. In I didn't understand a single thing. Anyways, let's move on. Rust in a nutshell. By the way, why are we looking at this here? 
Uh, you won't unless you learn the clean code principle. Ah, I need the clean code principle. Then I can understand the rust stroke that he's doing. Okay. Okay. Rust uh, rustic rusticians are lower than Clean this? It's already clean, brother. It's already clean. No need. I've got a clean dick. Uh wait, we have a paste bin from Mr. Abbott. Thank you, Abbott. I really appreciate it. Oh, this is from Coffee Lava. Don't delete that. Shouldn't do that. Uh, system web sockets. Text. Text. Uh, new client web socket. A new URI cancellation token none. Wait. Buffer is a new byte. Cancellation token none. Wait. Okay. You gotta use a wait. Listen. You're telling Abbev that his code is wrong. I think you are wrong. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah yeah. Um mm -hmm. very nice. That looks really good. Like look guys, I typed this myself. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. All of a sudden I have code that works. Let's see. Close status, close description, static members, options, right line. Session welcome. Wait. We already have everything we need. Guys, we need a subscription. <laughs> That's a shock. We need a subscription now. <laughs> Wait. Is that so easy? It is already handling asynchronism with weight. I don't like VAR. I, I'm never going to use VAR, even if you guys use it or if there's like a code example with VAR. I don't like that. Uh, okay, so this is what they're saying here. You get a welcome message. Uh, I don't see the payload in here. Which means there's stuff missing, or it is actually shown. Redeemed clown. Uh, yeah. Uh, what, what are you WTFFing about, huh? Jamesbe. I have a payload in my on my PC. Maybe the payload actually exists. Uh, but my message is too long. Look. Oops. Yeah, whatever. You see that? The message is, I think, too long. Where was my clown? Your clown will appear when I start the bot again. Wow. No, it wraps the next line. Try again. You sure about that? Wraps the next line? Hmm. Okay, try that again. Hello world. No. Holy shit, my computer is dying. From that much. My computer is lagging. Hey! Stop! Disconnect! Stop it! What the fuck, bro? I can't stop the progress. I 
can't stop it. <sighs> Where the fuck is the process? Yeah, I know that it's dying. The window is not responding. I know. Come on. Where is the executable? Why is it not showing up here? Is it these? <sighs> I think it's better now. In VS Code, expand VS Code. You sure about that? <clears throat> Classic VS Code experience. I was just pasting a bunch of fucking console logs. Just give me his code. Wow. Add thread sleep in the while lobe. Yeah. Red dot sleep. It is cool. 100%. Uh, I could just add in all of these things and it's like libraries that are bundled for you. And all of these things just work. You don't really need uh, to, you know, collect a bunch of libraries together. That is cool. Obviously, the big downside is the performance and what we just had. Holy shit, that would have never happened in C++. Not even Visual Studio Code C++. Not sure what it was doing. Maybe it was allocating a bunch of memory every fucking loop. I have no clue what it does. My goodness, maybe Marv was fucking it up. I don't know. It was logging for like a thousand times a second. Yeah, but that should be fine. I literally had a 4,000 4, FPS Vulkan engine that would log every single uh, time a frame happened. It would log something to the console as well. It doesn't stop. Wait. Huh? Oh my god, it's dead again. Dude. Fucking die! Can I kill these? Six gigs, it just works, yeah. First. Wait after sleep. C sharp, very nice, lol. <laughs> what are these browser sub processes? I'm killing them. I have a feeling that they got spawned. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Okay. Sleep doesn't wait. Apparently sleep doesn't wait. I don't know. Uh, apparently I have to do wait. Uh, it waits. Apparently it doesn't. Or 100 milliseconds is not enough. No, it's good. Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. We try again. It is not. It is not. It doesn't go to this line. And it's dead again. I, I have a breakpoint here. It's not running the breakpoint. Oh my god. Okay, like I was having fun with C Sharp. Right now, I'm pissed. It is literally blocking my entire computer. I can't go out of debug mode. It's right here. Wow, what a great, great way to program. Wow. Well, 
And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like this one guy again. It's like, okay, oh, you're such an idiot. You're doing it completely wrong. You're not supposed to run it like that. And you're not supposed to run it like that. You're supposed to run it any differently. How can you be so fucking stupid? Because the fucking thing doesn't work! Oopsie. Sorry. Oh, God. Die! One more time. That guy's right now. No, he's not right. He's not right. You don't need to wait on thread sleep. I have a feeling that it is not running my code. It is building correctly, but it's not... It is not running the breakpoints. Why are you scamming people for 2k points? I'm not scamming people. Uh, the, look, listen. Okay, fine. Listen, here. Here you go. Here you go. Stay out. There you go. Scammed. Listen, here. For money. My money. Which library you use? Oh, I there you go. I there have go. written my Happy. own code to do that. Uh, I have followed... Uh, this principle here. Yeah. Not this test. <laughs> what are you looking at, Kiwi? Huh? What are you looking at? Sorry. The stair face is so combative. And so it begins. <laughs> no, 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 no. Cakes, you're really bad at this programming language, huh? You don't understand anything going on. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I think the previous process fucked something up. It looks like it's killed now. So try again. I'm scared to try again, really. I see no difference when the Giga Chat filter Hello. turns off. My man, of course there's what no difference. Yeah, well, 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 what's the bots are doing, huh? There's one guy. Listen, if I start, it doesn't run these. It doesn't run the breakpoints. I'm looking at a lost soul who quitted the wonderful Splusplus world for the illusion of a better programming languages, but ended up with C-sharp. <laughs> I think you didn't recompile and that's why your program isn't running breakpoints. Yeah, but I did. I keep compiling. All the time. I just don't understand. And also, why the fuck would it break Visual Studio Code? Something fucked up. It uses old code for some reason. Yeah. That... That is what happens when you use a fucking build I'm gonna system. I'm break my monitor, I swear. Cakes, let's go back to C++ at least breakpoints work there. Yeah. Also, it will be faster than learning Chashtag from scratch. You need to update your computer? <laughs> it never happened to me before? Because it never happens to anyone but me! It always happens to me. I don't know why I get these Kick weird ass fucking problems every time I try something again. new. Everyone's like, oh, let me write these three lines of code. Easy. Oh, cake starting it. Uh, uh, uh. Fucking hate it. <sighs> I'm going to delete binary. Piss off. That's because your computer is filled with blue hardware. Because you always have some fucking esoteric requirements that make no sense. Ah, aha, aha, okay. So, <laughs> creating... I present to you your average Monday experience. Uh, listen, you think that a client WebSocket is a esoteric test, requirement tag, test, tag. for an application? Is that an esoteric requirement 
Mr. Bizolt. Cakes, hmm? the reason why that happens is because all you do before you start on a task is telling yourself you want to do it. You never consider whether it's possible or total idiotic, you just do it anyway. <laughs> Can you put a space in between while and condition? <laughs> Can you put a space here? You didn't specify how many spaces. Is that fine for you? Go back there to Casey's go. ways and via to our own Clee on Twitter. I'm still deleting the object plus files, plus. by the way. It's still deleting the OBJ files. Delete. Yeah. Please. Oh my god. It it does this. Yeah. Please delete. Yeah. Yeah. Built. Please run the breakpoints. <laughs> oh my god. It's not building. <laughs> I come back to this. <laughs> Cakers don't listen to them. All the best programmers don't consider what they are doing before committing to it. Just do it. Uh, F1 restart language server. Ah, I just love programming, guys. Especially newer things. Why delete it? That's how Visual Studio Code debugs. Yeah, but we if we build it again, we get the binary files again and we get the just learn new programming language like eh? Rust, Gorg the script and make video game industry great again guys look f1 greater than restart language server i can't fucking type tryout plus f4 Greater than Diablo 4. <laughs> I want to play so badly, man. Are you having fun, son? It's cool, Mr. Um, Cakes. Yeah. Tomorrow you will just cave in and install full Visual Studio, which will eat approximately no. 250 gigabytes of your drive space. <laughs> Skill issue. Oh my god, okay. Um, make TTS for 50 points. Fuck you. No. Okay, now with TTS on it's more like laughing at C-sharp than learning it. Yeah. <laughs> it's more like that. Well, okay, listen. There's a difference. Where is the X64? It's gone. Okay, so the tasks.json somehow changed. The X64 is Make gone. Make TTS 100 so you can scam even so more it, points. It doesn't... No? Of course, there was an X64. You want me to pull up the VOD? Free TTS. Task and launch don't have anything with that. Listen, listen. There was a bin. X64 debug net 7. Or bin. It is gone now. Tasks JSON file removed the 64 bit part, you made it 32 bit now. Listen. Maybe. Wait. Hä? No, wait. Dot net built. No. No. No, something changed. Because it is now this. Hey, Kicks, if you are struggling with build issues with C-Sharp, I shouldn't be struggling with that. Download JetBrains Radar. Classic. Makes it much easier. Visual Studio Code across your tries a bit of tweaking to get it to build C-Sharp. Well, Hermie, thank you very much. Uh, I thought I had it set up, though. You know? Thank you, bro. Try .NET to run instead of uh, F5. Okay. .NET. Oops. Yeah. And we... Wow. We even get... Keep a lifetime. We get everything. We get everything. 
Dotnet clean. Wait first clean. VS Code fucked up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Visual Studio Code fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, C Sharp Microsoft extension. Three out of five stars. Thank you. Again, you don't disappoint. Every time. Every time. I told you. Oh, cakes. Three out of five stars? Don't worry about three out of five stars. You should look at the stars. Oh, guess what? Guess what? The thing doesn't work. Classic. It's a classic one. Every time. Microsoft doesn't know how to program for shit. Nice. So what am I supposed to do now? Am I supposed to basically do... Three out of five stars. Mamma mia. It's a me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Eh? Great. What now? It does work, guys. And it it, it, it also language sleeps. For you, I think. Import Twitch bot. Bot dot work all you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> use, visual, use Visual Studio now? No. Forgive no. Chashtag and go back to your C++ savior. He's back. Call and green, my man. Welcome back. And .net restore. Try maybe dot net clean and dot net restore. Maybe it would help. Not here, Linux right? Win. <laughs> Go away with Versus Linux. requirements. 4 poo and 16 gigabytes of RAM recommended. Hard <laughs> disk space. Minimum of 850 megabytes up to 210 gigabytes of available space. Depending on features installed, typical installations require 20 to 50 gigabytes of free space. Cakes you will cave in later and use versus maybe tomorrow. What is no, I will not use Visual Studio to write a fucking one file program that has literally not even 50 lines of code where there's like four lines of code that are comments. And I'm not even using net sockets, so it's no longer four lines of code. It's literally not even 30 lines of code at this point. But it works. I'm not telling you should do it. I'm just telling you what is gonna happen. <laughs> you will cave in. You have been doing that a lot lately. <laughs> Visual Studio Code is blocked compared to Visual Surrender. Studio, trust me. Visual Studio Code? Uh, I mean, fine. I'm gonna try something. Uh, sorry. Wait. Excuse me. I have an idea. If you're changing language for no reason, change ID as well. No, I hate Visual Studio, man. It's fucking slow. I hate oh, no. that. He's channing launch.json. It's not gonna end well. Visual <laughs> Studio is scanned for money. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna change the launch.json. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. Cakes framework. You can write a 50 line co uh, lines of code program with Visual Studio code, but you're not allowed to debug it. Yeah. Huh? Oh. How the fuck did I do that? Log in Microsoft? Huh? Yeah, I don't know what I pressed. I have no clue. I pressed like Shift, Control, Windows key, Alt, something. No clue. Listen. I don't know. Write it in word. Uh, write it in word. Microsoft. Great idea. Huh? I want to basically do this. Fuck, it doesn't work. No, it does. It does. You want to build hashtag code as C++, hum what's gonna happen, I wonder. Dot net build. Dot net build. F5. Fuck! Wait. Launch.
Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you and your fucking stupid ass extension. Stu oh shit. Fuck. Don't, don't delete it. Um. Fuck. I think it was this one. Request launch. Microsoft is trash confirmed. Shit. Fuck. How do I do that? Cakes? What is that link? Isa, Isa, yeah. Cakes? Leave the tool in, not the program a classic. Wait. That's supposed to do something? There's music? I don't hear anything. Brother. I don't hear anything. Listen. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. How do I... How do I do that? Can I do that? <gasps> Fuck! Program does not exist. Uh, can I do like a shell? Two thousand. How can I launch his path to program that should be started by Vs code? A uh, programming launch is path to program. Yeah. A C. Bin. Bin slash debug. Intermission over. We have stopped selling ice creams. You will have to stick to your Are you a sharp core. deaf? You can delete them and create again with F5. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh... Penis. It works. It works. Look, we got rid of the Microsoft bullshit. We've written our own stuff. Uh, hopefully, we now have consistency. And uh, we are connecting. And we are hopefully writing lines of code somewhere. There we Two go. Two hours later. There we it go. It just works. There we go. It works. It works. Amazing. C sharp got. Yeah. We have now. Let's pull that up. Make that bigger. Fuck! Wrong one. Wrong, wrong key. Wrong key. <coughs> Excuse me. We have. Um, we are connected to the Twitch event sub. And now whenever something happens... Gentlemen, we have console output. Three hours to write a 20-line script. Listen, listen. Reconnect URL null. We are able to connect to the event sub. Takes you of know. Twitch. When boys grow up, they like playing pirates and police and they like to think they are big, but really when it comes to it, they will run to their mother crying because they realize they are not that big after all. 
That's kind of like you right now. <laughs> no, you are sorry, trying to do this in Visual well. Studio Code, but tomorrow you will be sitting in Visual Studio. Like a little baby. <laughs> uh, Real C Sharp devs write 200 unit tests, relying on mocks before if doing anything. If you forget about that laughing about C Sharp, it was please not and easy. Yeah, no, it was good. Uh, I'm very... Uh, surprised by how simple c sharp is uh, we are successfully connecting to the server uh, we get everything we need c sharp is a discount in java <laughs> and uh, we did it in basically like how, how many lines of code like 30 lines of code very nice c sharp is succeeding so now since it's taken quite long i want to continue this tomorrow uh, because I want to play Path of Exile. Yeah. I'm going to stream Path of Exile. I want to continue this tomorrow. Because uh, it's taken quite a long time. Fair adventure? No, no, no. I'm, I want to log in, yeah. Time for gaming. Yeah. I want to game. And now we have successfully gotten this message. Which is very good. A welcome message. Which means that we are successfully connecting to the events using the WebSocket. And now I would like to turn this into a project where we write a Twitch bot in C Sharp. I'm going to look at Coffee Lava's library of stream and then evaluate whether it would make sense to do it in C. Um, well done, Cakes. Don't listen to us noobs. No, I think I think we've gotten a good little session in here. Obviously, I would have liked to done more, to have done more, but I think two hours, almost. Yeah, I think it's two and a half hours now. If we didn't have the Microsoft problem, would have been a bit better. Uh, terrible extension, like always. I knew it's gonna happen. Should have known. We can get notifications. A notification message is sent when an event that you subscribe to occurs. The message contains the event's details. And uh, it doesn't talk about scopes. It doesn't talk about any of those. So it looks like you can connect even without scopes. Which I think... They are sending out a little too many, too much. <clears throat> Can you guys do me a favor? Can you guys do me a favor, please? I want to try out one thing. I want to wait on a response. I don't know if I did everything correctly. We get the welcome message, right? In the terminal here. And it did hello world once. Can someone of you either follow or unfollow? I will oh no, wait! Fuck. Uh, one more errors occurred. Inner exceptions found. Close sent. Valid states are in the, is in, uh, the WebSocket is in invalid state. Close received for this operation. Uh, but you don't specify any channel. How would it work? I didn't specify any channel. True. I didn't specify which channel we are looking at. Right. And I guess we have to send that information somehow. Uh, important. You have 10 seconds from the time you receive the welcome message to subscribe to an event. If you don't the subscribe, then the server closes the connection. Okay, so we don't do the connection. How, how about this? Let's try to quickly do the connection. by subscribing to events how do you, oh we need to do a post request here and this is where we need the authorization token looks like webhook but that's webhook hmm yes it's in the header you need to subscribe to an event as well. Yeah, well, the question is... I'm connecting to this event sub, right? 
Where do I send? Do I send it to the socket? Do I send? Not even joking. It sends ping and you need to send Pong back. Yeah, I know that. I have to, I've read that yesterday. We need to send Pong back. But it doesn't do that after like a couple of minutes. It does that like every couple of minutes. So even if, even if, right, it would send that, uh, we would still have time uh, currently. You don't need to send anything with event subs. You just listen to it. Yes, but I need to subscribe to them. And subscribing to them is sending information to them, I think. Uh, unless I missed something. Because how do I subscribe? Where do I send the subscription information to Twitch? Where do I say, okay, well, I'm... sub. Oh, you mean that when I'm connecting, I'm sending a header while I'm connecting? And that header... It's in the URI. Do I have to send the header here? Like some some header? It's an HTTP request. But we have a WebSocket, a client WebSocket. I don't understand. I'm not supplying any tokens here. See, like this is what I don't understand. Um Check the docs. I am. I am. And I have been reading them. Look. After the welcome message, you will receive any of the following message. Keep alive message, reconnect message, re-invocation re message. The final message you receive is a closed message. Notification message that contains the events data. Keep alive message. Reconnect message. You should create a WebSocket connection until you have a reason to create another one. For limits and non yeah, important. The WebSocket supports. If a WebSocket connection is lost, you can resub you'll need to resubscribe to the events after connecting. Lamau, check docs. Haha. I can't. Do you think Black Hole can collapse on itself? Don't ask me about Black Holes, okay? People think that I'm crazy, but I think Black Holes are basically warp gates into other, di other dimensions or other universes okay that's what i think black holes are so if you go into one you get pooped out the other way and you can only go one way in, in black holes listen like i don't know if it's true but it would be cool if it is so I connect, when you connect to, Twitch replies with a welcome message. The message type field is set to session welcome. This message contains the WebSockets session ID that you use when subscribing to events. And then subscribing to events. To subscribe to events, use the create event sub subscription endpoint. Create event sub subscription authorization. If you use webhooks to receive events, the request must specify an app access token. The request will fail if you use a user access token. If the subscription type requires user authorization, if you use web sockets to receive events, the request must specify a user access token. The request will fail if you use an app access token. If the subscription type requires a user authorization, the token must include the re required scope. However, if the subscription type doesn't include the user authorization, the token may include any scopes or no scopes. I'm getting deja vu from Coffee Lava doing literally this last week. In C++, too much sci-fi sci bullshit, literally the same, reading speed. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Too much TV, my man? Listen, listen. You're saying that now, okay? But what if in a hundred years, we still didn't die and scientists finally find out what black holes really are and how they function? Then you're going to eat your own words, okay? Scientists find out they are wrong all the time, okay? We are dead, bro. Well, we don't know, right? We might find something that keeps us alive. We are progressing. I am a scientist. Oh, really? You are? 
Twitch chat PhD and I'm never wrong. Wait, no, that's not true. You are a Soyonist. <laughs> okay, bro. Go tell the C I, I, That's not my job. I'm not a scientist. I'm just a believer. <laughs> it's not my job. Okay, so a scientist. I'm gonna do this tomorrow, but I will read and consult with Mr. Lava on whether C++ is a better choice. But I think it was a cool... It was a cool... I, I don't know, man. C Sharp seems to be so simple here, you know? Compared to C++. Apart from the launch and task JSON stuff, it was very simple. It is superior, yeah. I wouldn't say about... I wouldn't talk about superior, but uh, yeah. We will be able to store ourselves digitally and transport via web sockets in the future. <laughs> well, the first problem is you're using a VS Code folder. Yeah, well, I'm I'm a VS Code Andy. I really like coding in Visual Studio Code, and I don't like Visual Studio. I don't even have it installed. Fuck, I have it installed. Shit, should have deleted that shit. Cakes, what's next? Do you need a Starbucks coffee and a MacBook? Okay, well, we're going to do it like this, guys. I'm going to switch over to Path of Exile. I want to play some PoE, SSF, relax a bit. And uh, we're going to continue on this tomorrow. And I will also consult with Coffee Lava about... The Twitch bot. I'm gonna do a Twitch bot entirely in one program. Uh, unfortunately, the common solutions, not hardcore, no, because I died before I went back or before I. I died before I went on vacation. And so I would like to at least experience the game. All right? Because you keep dying. That's not uh, like I can't go with Raider and then I won't die. But I want to experience the game with a new build without dying. So, and I don't have time like a full time gameplay streamer. Don't you think you should ask him before you delegate work to him, Cakes? I said I'm going to consult Coffee Lava, aka asking questions, you dummy. I'm not making him do any work. I'm gonna ask how he did things. What do you mean you die? You're not good at you're not a good gamer. <clears throat> Imagine if Quinn said no hardcore. When Quinn started playing Path of Exile, he played softcore. Okay. What are you talking about? I got help from chat mainly, strong, yeah. I got help from Abbeth today. Was really helpful, my man. Thank you, Abbeth. I'm sorry that I was a bit slow, but uh, it was really helpful. Thank you, man. And without you, wouldn't have done that. Wouldn't have been so easy. Yeah, for example, this notification. I want to change that, you know. want to change it at all. Uh, totally. Like, this is a stupid YouTube... Uh, Notification ping. I started to play hardcore first time PoE. Uh, me too, yeah. I will try to implement follow notifications with the code we have right now. Oh, should I uh, commit and push? Git add. I'm, I know there's not much code here. Git commit minus M. Some uh, code to connect to Twitch sub. Twitch events. Not much yet. Get push. Sage commit. <clears throat> I don't level seventy fifty six is uh, fifty seven leveling and uninstalled. <laughs> 
Ja, ja, Fresh SSF Cheaten. Uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, no, SSF Chieftain, uh, and I want to try out Infernal Blow. Some thing. There we go. Two hundred push ups per death, there. Okay, fine. Uh, Twenty push ups per death. <laughs> uh, 20 push ups per death gotta get in shape right after the vacation good idea Aizen the 200 he said <laughs> yeah no I think all of this can go away I have a recording of this. Yeah, all of this. Except, no, wait. We need the... I need that. No, wait. I need those two. The Twitch lib and... the she Where is Coffee Lava's Twitch bot thing? There you go. WebSocket HPP. Uh, where did you get that ASIO client HPP? WebSocket config client. Oh yeah, we can turn on TTS again. <clears throat> One Iron Man per death. Holy shit, that would be crazy. One Iron Man. Ah, great. I was... I... I was... Stop stealing from coffee lava. Listen. Listen. Smart people don't do everything themselves, okay? When will you start playing the game so I know when to close the stream? <laughs> Shut your mouth. I'm gonna start now, so bye, bitch.